Hi everyone, it's Tim from Booth Events. In this short video, we're going to take a look at creating an attract screen. So in this video, on the left-hand side of your screen, you're going to see the website where you can manage your events and attract screens too. And on the right-hand side of your screen, you're seeing the iPad app on my iPad. Okay, so first of all, what is an attract screen? Well, you can think of it like a screensaver. The best way for me to explain to you is to show you. So let's go on the iPad app into this event, and I'm going to go to the middle page of settings at the bottom there and scroll down. And for this little demonstration, I'm going to change the delay, which is two minutes by default, to be super fast, just five seconds. Okay, so let's start previewing our event. And within five seconds, the screensaver, the attract screen, starts up. So what you're seeing now is the default attract screen that you get if you don't change anything. And you can kind of see, if I move my hand over it, it's, it's a mix. It's got the live view and the video and that text all together. That's the default attract screen. So cool, but let's have a look at making our own one. So let's click on the attract screen on the website here on the left. So this is in your web browser. You don't need any special programs to do this. And let's hit create new. We'll, we'll make it new attract screen. So it's pretty important that you select the right model of, of iPad because this is changing the dimensions of the attract screen. And you want that to match what you have. So I have an iPad Pro 11 inch, so I'm going to select that. And I'm double checking and I'm looking at those pixels and I'm like, yep, yeah, that's the right number of pixels. That's what my iPad has. So that's going to work. And you'll note that it matters whether the landscape or portrait orientation is going to be used for your iPad. Here I'm using a portrait orientation, so I'm just going to leave it how it is. Okay, great. Let's hit save changes. Okay, so by default now I'm in the attract screen editor, which if you've seen our template editor is exactly the same. And by default, you can see I've got this live view image here. That's what these girls are here. And if I turn that off, then I have no live view. So let's start without live view. And let's just exit this event here on the iPad real quick before I forget, so it's not confusing anyone. You have to enter your password correctly, though. Okay, brilliant. So let's add a video. So for this example, I've downloaded a, a video of um, clouds. So I'm going to stick that in. Um, the first thing I do is upload that video. So there is that button on the bottom left here, add video. So I clicked that and I selected my video and now it's uploading. So I'll just let that finish there. Okay, great. And there's my video. I can see that here. And I don't care what the background color is because my video is covering all of it, but I'll just change it to white in case perhaps there's a little bit of blacks coming in at the bottom there underneath. Okay, great. And now, I also want to add some um, layers on top. So for attract screens, on the background you have your live view, your video, and your background color. And on the foreground you can add uh, images uh, as you like. So I'm, I've clicked on foreground here, and I'm going to click on upload JPEG. And what I've done, I've got a PNG of a bicycle, uh, which is too big. So I'm quickly going to convert that to be smaller. So I have an image of a bicycle as a PNG, and I'm going to upload that. And I, I want this to be a PNG because then it's got transparency, which is what I want. So I'll just make a bicycle here. And then I'm going to hop over to maketext.io, which is a website that we love to use for making text. Great. Let's choose that one. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, we're going to download that as a PNG and click download. Great. I'm going to go back to booth events here and I'm going to hit upload again on the foreground still. And I'm going to choose what I just downloaded, which is my text. Great. Put that down there. Okay, so here's an attract screen that I've made. Um, now let's see what it looks like. So you can, now that we've made this track screen, we have to assign it to the event. And of course we could do that here on the website, but I want to leave the editor up and open. So I'm going to do that directly here on the iPad on the right hand side. 
So if I see here, I've got that attract screen built in default. If I touch that there, I can now see my new attract screen there. So let's go ahead and save the changes there. And if you can see there on the left hand side, it immediately downloaded everything it needed for that attract screen. I didn't have to do anything that was automatic. Okay, and remember, I've still got a really short delay of five seconds for that attract screen. It's going to show if no one's in front of the iPad for five seconds. So I'll hit preview. We'll have a look and see what that looks like. Ooh, look at that. Okay, I've got my bicycle and my text and my video. It's all looking great. Okay, so now one of the questions is, when does the attract screen show and when does it go away? Well, the obvious one is if I touch the iPad uh, screen, then that attract screen is going to go away. Um, we'll just wait for it to come back here. And another one is if the iPad camera sees a face. So it's the iPad camera, never the USB camera, um, even if a USB camera is connected. But if the iPad camera recognizes a face, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the iPad up to my face. The second that it recognizes my face, then it's going to immediately uh, turn off the attract screen. So the whole point of the attract screen is to get people's attention, to attract them to the iPad. And as people walk up to the iPad and it sees a face, it's going to immediately present that user interface to help them make a selection. All right. In this video, you've seen how to create your own attract screen using the attract screen editor and how to assign it to an event on the iPad app. Um, you can also, if I just whip through it on the website real quick, you can also edit the attract screen here by hitting change and choosing the attract screen there. That's the other way to assign it in the website. All right, if you like this video, please let us know in the comments. If you have requests for other videos, please let us know too.